Hey, hi everyone. Ultra Pro back again for some more Slave Zero. I'm just spoiling you guys rotten today, aren't I? Seventh Cross, Slave Zero. I've got some more Dragon's Blood coming soon. Eventually I'll be able to do Slave some more Zero. Evil Twin. Though I, I'm still kind of stuck on that one. Anyway, Slave Zero, yeah, it's a fantastic game. I've forgotten how good it was. I mean, look at this. It's brilliant. Return to base. We need you here immediately. I've just beaten that boss at the end of level 3 and this is mission 4 and the point of this mission is to find your way back to the rebel headquarters and defend it now the whole irritating point of this level is that it's a labyrinth and there's no set way to go that's kind of right you sort of have to just pick a route and stick with it I think the majority of them all lead to the same place I don't think there's any that take you to the wrong place um, because you hear the guy that leads the rebellion saying in your mind follow your instincts to find your way back to us I think that's just code for whichever way you go you will actually get there I think there's only one or two wrong arm wrong choices anyway is actually one of the shorter levels but it's more one of the more fun if you're walking through all these corridors and you start to fight some new enemies like these spiders they're actually quite formidable because there are some larger ones that you get You'll notice that I am a uh, complete and utter backtrack whore. <coughs> I will always backtrack and check where I've been before moving forward. This mission is one of the m rare exceptions where I don't backtrack though because... I don't know, I just can't be bothered. <coughs> I just run straight through. I mean there's two ways from this doorway, uh, from this room. There's that way. of how huge you are apparently everything's sort of minuscule see I've sort of undecided which way to go Gun or Gatling gun on its on its back. <clears throat> well, that was close. Now I see this room and I think to myself, "Hang on, I haven't done that other room yet. Let me go back." See now there's two more choices. Is that doorway? What is that doorway? How frustrating. I don't think I could make that jump back up, or maybe I could. I'd have to grab onto the edge.
forces closing in. ETA. See, once again, I have no idea which way to go. If you don't get here soon, don't bother coming. Oh, shit. Let's take door number two. Well, that looks as good as any. That's one of the great things about this game is its variety. objectives and then you've got missions like this one where you're given such freedom as to where you want to go and you then have to defend the base I thought that meant I picked the wrong way when that loading screen came up I thought that meant I'd pick the wrong way and I'd have to go back I thought I'd have to do it all over again but apparently not. Love running through these corridors and tearing the shit out. You never feel so good. See that ring of lens effect around it. It's a really nice touch. And the the atmosphere, the, 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 the environmental effect when every bullet hits the floor. It, uh, <coughs> just subtle, subtle little touches that make this game really, really class. I 
mean, initially I was going to say that it hadn't aged all that well, but I think it actually has. I think it's actually aged really well. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Slave Zero, we're engaging them at the outer perimeter. Looks like a miniature sort of city and a massive dog kennel. I love this little bit. <coughs> Is secured. Nice work. What took you so long? That's right. Okay, so that's mission four finished, I believe. Indeed, he is powerful, but he will not survive. The next mission, I have to defend a cargo thing, which is very irritating. Anyway, hope you're enjoying this walkthrough of Slave Zero. I love this game. That was Mission 4 finished. Part 5 is on the way. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.